What if I told you that your NVIDIA GPU still isn't working at its full potential, even after you've dialed in the settings, used NVIDIA control panel, or even watched my last optimization guide? In this part two, we're diving even deeper. This isn't just about frame rates. This is about reducing latency, unlocking hidden driver features, and even reclaiming wasted system memory. And no, you don't need to upgrade your hardware. Let's unleash every last bit of performance. Let's go. Step one, fresh install of NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Even if you've used NVIDIA Profile Inspector before, it's important to start fresh. This isn't just about changing a few AA settings. This time, we're applying advanced tweaks focused on latency reduction, VRAM management, and driver level control that still aren't exposed in the standard NVIDIA control panel. Downloading the latest version safely. Open your browser and search NVIDIA Profile Inspector OBMU2K GitHub. Click the link that takes you to OBMU2K's official GitHub page. Under the Releases section, download the latest .zip file. Extract the contents somewhere safe. Your desktop or a dedicated tools folder works great. Run NVIDIA Profile Inspector.exe. No installation required. It's portable and lightweight. Profile Inspector gives you direct access to hidden driver flags. These include fine-grained control over things like frame queue limits, low latency mode, pre-rendered frame settings beyond default UI. Step 2. Deep Dive. Advanced global settings you haven't tried yet. Now that you have NVIDIA Profile Inspector open, it's time to dive deeper than typical FPS tweaks. These global driver settings can significantly impact latency, visual clarity, and smoothness, especially for competitive gaming and open world titles. Frame Rate Limiter Mode, V3. Set this limiter just above your monitor's refresh rate to avoid excessive input buffering. For example, if you have a 144 Hz monitor, set it to 146 FPS. This tiny overhead prevents the GPU from queuing too many frames ahead, reducing input lag and making gameplay feel snappier. Low Latency Mode Ultra Switch to Ultra Mode to aggressively reduce the render queue. This is especially effective in GPU-bound games, where the graphics card is the bottleneck rather than the CPU. Note, some older titles might become unstoppable with Ultra Mode, so test this on your key games. Texture filtering, LOD bias to minus 1.000. Set the level of detail bias to minus 1.000 for sharper textures without significant performance loss. This tweak refines distant textures, helping you spot enemies earlier in competitive shooters like Valorant, CS2, or Fortnite. Tip. If you notice shimmering or aliasing, adjust slightly, e.g. minus 0.5, to find a comfortable middle ground. Triple buffering, off. Unless you're explicitly using VSync, turn triple buffering off. It adds extra frames to the render queue, which increases latency. Most competitive gamers avoid VSync altogether for this reason. Reminder, if you're running adaptive sync technologies, G-Sync or FreeSync, V-Sync and triple buffering are typically unnecessary. Shader cache size, 10 gigabytes or more. By default, NVIDIA sets shader cache size automatically, but manually increasing it to 10 gigabytes or higher can drastically reduce stutter in open world or shader heavy games like Cyberpunk, Red Dead Redemption 2, how it helps? A larger cache stores more pre-compiled shaders, which means fewer mid-game shader compilations and smoother frame pacing. Step 3. Have you ever noticed that your RAM stays nearly full even after you've closed heavy games or GPU-intensive apps? This is usually due to standby memory, cache data held by Windows to speed up reloads, but which can sometimes accumulate and reduce available RAM for new tasks. 
RAM Map, a free and official tool from Microsoft's Sys in Journals suite, lets you see exactly how your RAM is allocated and lets you clear this standby memory safely and instantly. Run RAM Map as Administrator. Navigate to the Empty menu at the top. Select Empty Standby List. This clears cached RAM that Windows keeps in standby but isn't actively using, instantly freeing memory. Do this right before launching your game or heavy app for a noticeable improvement in available RAM and smoother performance. Bonus tip, make a shortcut to RAM map on your desktop and set it to run minimized. Resizable bar, but smarter. We covered enabling rebar before, but now we fine tune it. Inside NVIDIA Profile Inspector, go to your game-specific profile, Cyberpunk 2077, and add these keys. R-Bar Feature, Enabled. R-Bar Options, 1. R-Bar Size Limit. This forces the game to utilize full GPU memory buffer space. Performance gains vary, but modern titles love this. Don't forget to check BIOS to ensure rebar is turned on system-wide. Game-specific profiles, set once, forget forever. Rather than touching global settings repeatedly, now is the time to search for your favorite title in Profile Inspector, cap frame rate specifically for it, enable disable DLSS, rebar, and other per-game tweaks. Pro tip, some games, like Valorant or Apex, perform better with different low latency settings. Test per title. Step 7. MSI Mode. Revisit with Priority Boost. If you haven't already explored MSI, Message Signaled Interrupts Mode, now's a great time to try it. It can significantly reduce input lag and improve responsiveness, especially in CPU-bound games. How to enable MSI mode properly. Download MSI Utility V3. Search for MSI Utility V3 Guru 3D on Google or your preferred search engine. Download it from a trusted source to avoid malicious files. Run MSI Utility as Administrator. Right-click the executable and select Run as Administrator. This ensures the tool has the necessary permissions to make system-level changes. Locate your GPU device. In the Utilities device list, find the entry corresponding to your graphics card. It will usually be clearly labeled with your GPU model. Enable MSI mode. Check the box next to MSI mode for your GPU device. This switches your GPU's interrupt handling from legacy line-based IRQs to modern message-signaled interrupts, which are faster and more efficient. Set interrupt priority to high. Still in the utility, find the interrupt priority setting for your GPU and set it to high. This tells Windows to prioritize GPU interrupts over other less critical devices, improving input latency and responsiveness. Apply changes and reboot. Hit apply to save your settings, then restart your PC to activate MSI mode fully. Why use MSI mode? Reduced input lag. By switching to MSI, your GPU signals interrupts directly and more efficiently, cutting down on the delay between input and response. Better CPU utilization. Legacy line-based interrupts can cause bottlenecks when multiple devices share IRQ lines. MSI avoids this by allowing dedicated prioritized messaging. Improved stability. MSI can reduce interrupt conflicts, which sometimes cause stuttering or dropped frames. Step 8. Bonus Layer – Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling This Windows feature, HAGS, splits opinions, but here's a smarter approach. Go to Graphic Settings to default GPU settings. Try enabling HAGS only if your CPU bottlenecked like streaming or a low-end CPU. Disable it if you're running a high refresh display and seeing micro stutter. Optional, use Latency Mon to track whether it helps or hurts your system.
Wrapping up, the power is yours now. With all of these tools, from memory cleanup to profile tuning to driver slimming, you've turned your GPU into a finely tuned weapon. Whether you're playing eSports titles, AAA open world games, or just want a smoother desktop experience, these methods can make a huge difference. Just remember, always back up your settings, test one tweak at a time, every system reacts differently. Let me know in the comments what worked best for you, or if you found even more advanced tweaks I should try next. This is just part two. If you want a part three with undervolting, BIOS mods, or even RTX modding tips, smash the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.